tech and in this video i want to show you can actually scan four fta channels on your new max decoder and with this fta channels that's the nine concert channels on your new max decoder so all you have to do is to follow the steps and then add the tp if you are having a signal to just follow the steps and then know where to add the right tp just to proceed to scan to get your channels and if you are using a different fta decoder just follow the steps add the tp track to get a stable signal of the night comes at using the tp that i'm going to highlight on your screen that's the one two five one eight horizontal two nine five zero zero and that's the satec tp you have different tv platforms on the nikon satellite you have the tstv you have the next sat and other options over there so this the tp for the satec so you add it and you go straight to a satellite dish if you are not having a signal already just to search for a stable signal from the for the nikon sat. so all you have to do next is to connect the cable from the satellite dish into the LMB import at the back of your new Max decoder. At the back of your new Max decoder, you have two different ports that will be receiving the signal. We have the ANT port and the LMB port. So the ANT port, that's the port for your digital signal. And the LMB is the port for the satellite signal. So connect the cable from the satellite dish into the LMB import. And you pick up your remotes. The next thing is to press on the menu button on your new max remote so from the menu here use the arrow keys just to navigate through the menu and then you look for installation so you find installation and then you press ok on the installation and here it's requesting for the default password on your fta decoder or new max decoder it's supposed to be four zero so you type in zero 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 for it to open up and we have some options over here we have the lmb the installation type rather and we have the antenna settings so the installation type if you are to do settings for the terrestrial or the antenna or the digital channels you need to press ok on it and then you place it on the t2 and that's the options whether you're gonna use to scan or search for the digital channel so we are to search for the satellite channel, so you have to select the S2, DVB S2, that's the satellite second generation. And you come to the options over here. You have antenna settings, satellite list, and transponder list. That's the options which you're going to use to do your settings. So you come to the second option or the first one, antenna setting. You press OK on it. So here on this page, you have a selected satellite folder which have its TP and LMB type being placed on it. So we have pre-installed satellite folders, which you can select a satellite folder, which have an already pre-installed frequencies in it, which you can use it to track or scan for any satellite that you are looking for. So the satellite folders over here, whenever you select it and you add the TP, doesn't mean that that's the main satellite that you are tracking for so you can select a different satellite far from the one that you are tracking just to add the transponder and you use it to track and scan for the channels so let's say you are to track for arab sats you can select intel sats or astra 2a 2b or you can select hotbed satellite folder just to add a tpnn you use that satellite folder just to track and you can create your own as well and you add the right tp so here we will be looking for the nikon sat satellite folder or the TechSat satellite folder so if it happens to be that on your fta decoder you're unable to find any any folder satellite folder such as the nikon sat or the tech sat all you have to do is to select a different one so I think there is a text that in the list so we have to look for it and then we press it on it so as you can see we have it right here you select it and we come to the lmb type supposed to be a ku band we are doing the settings for ku band so 
select the KU band option over here. We have the LMB frequency. It's supposed to be a universal figure. So if the cell light folder that you selected comes with a different LMB frequency, make sure that you place it on this four options over here that's the universal option so you place it on it and we have the transponder option over here you press ok just to look through the options over here if you have the primary transponder whereby you're gonna actually get a signal easier or the channels easier so the primary transponder which have been highlighted on your screen that's one two five four one eight horizontal 29500 so it's not in it so all you have to do is to add and with the adding on this page you will be unable to add so you have to press on the exit button on your remote to go back to the installation menu you come down to the transponder list you press ok on it so from this menu that's where you can add the transponder but you have a selected cell line which is not the text art. so we have to select the text art which we are going to use it to track or scan for the Nikon SAT or the text SAT FTA channel so here for you to select the cell light you need to press on the SAT button on the remote so as the command says down below SAT button for the cell light option to actually pop up so you press on it and then you place it on the text SAT you look through the options over here and then you look for the text at all right you look through all right so you have it right here so after selecting your right cell light for that which you are using it to track or scan then the next thing is to add and with adding as you can see you have command down below red to add yellow to delete green to edit as well so you press on the red button on your remote for the add menu to open up and you add the primary TP which is one two five one eight and you come to the symbol race which is two nine five zero zero so the polarity is horizontal if it's V you change it to H right there you press OK it already exists so you select it and on this page you can move on to scan by selecting on the blue button or pressing on the blue button for the scan menu to open up but it's been logged on the manual search which will not let you get more of the channels that is available on any given platform so all the time look for either auto search blind or super blind so here we will not be able to have access to the brand and the auto search or super blind so we have to go back to the antenna settings page by pressing the exit button after adding our tp you press on the exit button to go back and then you come to the antenna settings once again you press ok on it here you have to select your text sets or the cell light folder which you are using to track or scan for the nikon sat channels so you select your right cell light folder and then you come straight to the transponder now you have add the tp so whenever you look through you're gonna find it in it so you come to the right transponder and then you place it on the primary one so as you can see if you change it the signal quality will not be showing so if you are having a stable signal and you add the tp the signal quality is supposed to show indicating that there is a signal from the cell light dish and if you reach this level and there is no signal quality showing or it goes on and off as it keeps doing right now which actually indicate that you are not having a stable signal from the cell light dish. so all you have to do is to walk straight to the cell light dish and then you stabilize it just to get a stable signal quality in order for you to get a stable channels as well so the next thing is to scan and with the scanning as we have some command below blue for the scan menu to op open up you press on the blue button on your remote and you come here to the scan type you change it to blind and the channel type you can select fta only to eliminate those 
scrum all channels that comes along with the dollar dollar sign most of them won't be working so or you can just leave it on all and you press ok for the search to begin so here you don't have to do anything all you have to do is to wait for it to complete scanning and you're going to get access to the channels that will be available on the platform but most often since you are performing a brand search the number of channels will actually depend on the signal quality that you are having on the cell light this so always make sure you have enough of the signal quality from the cell lights. so that's it if you have watched this video up to this far and you are new to the channel all you have to do is to subscribe hit the bell icon and you keep coming back for more if you have been here for so long you are an old subscriber to like the video share comment below and you keep coming back for more thanks for watching and bless up Thank you.